So, you are going to discuss the first uh, example of the scala collections that is our scala list. Now, what is a list and how does it differ from an array? So, scala lists are quite similar to arrays which means all the elements of a list have the same type but there are two main important differences between the scala list and the scala arrays. First, lists are immutable that means it cannot be changed. The location wise you cannot change the content of the list which means elements of a list cannot be changed by assignment. And second point is that lists represent a linked list whereas an arrays are flat. And the type of a list that has elements of type T is written as list within third bracket we will be writing the type that is a T here. So, I think for the better understanding let us show you one sample code in Scala and let me execute it. Let me explain line by line so that you can get the idea what is a Scala list. So, here is the demonstration. In this demonstration we shall show you that how to define how to define list in our Scala programming. So, here you see here we have defined one list the name of the list is fruit which is containing string and these are the string values this list is containing. So, these are the list members and how to define one integer list we have shown that one and also how to define one empty list. So, that is the syntax we have given. So, wh what about the two dimensional list the two dimensional list will be will be denoting like this one. So, val deem so, here we are having this list then list int and here we have put we are having three lists are there within this one list. So, let me execute my code to show you that how this outputs are coming. So, I am just executing this one in the interactive shell. So, here you see here the list has got defined that is the fruit and here the list is known as the nums and this list is known as empty and that is the two dimensional list we have formed. So, now let me uh, write them write the names. So, fruit is there so it is containing this then we shall go for this nums. and then we shall go for empty and then we shall go for dim. So, in this way we have shown you that how this list can be formed. All list can be defined using two fundamental building blocks a tail nil and this cons operator which is pronounced as cons and this nil also represents one empty list. All the above list can also be defined in the following syntax. So, just see here. So, that very list which you define for the fruit, the name of the list was fruit, can also be defined in this way. Similarly, for nums, we have written the respective list here. So, here you see we are using one operator. This operator is known as cons operator, which is denoting that what is the head part and which one is the tail part here. So, let me execute this part of the code. So, here you see we have defined this fruit again, we have defined this nums, empty and dim again. So, let me uh, go for them. So, in this way we can define list in our Scala program in the interactive shell. So, now let me show you that other different operations. So, what are the basic operations on list? All operations on list can be expressed in terms of the following three methods. What are they? They are head, tail and is empty. So, here we have defined one list that is a fruit one. The definition is in front of you. This is our fruit two and this is our nums which is containing which is a M1 empty list. Now, I want to print the head of this fruit one. So, the syntax is fruit one dot head. So, that means it will print apples and rest part is our tail. So, now we are printing the tail of the fruit that is a fruit one that is a tail. So, I am writing this one one that will be better here. Okay. So, now check whether this fruit one is empty or not. So, that can be checked in this way and here this is the nums that is the check if the nums is empty or not. So, it can be checked in this way. You see the num is the empty list. So, here I will be getting something true. So, let me execute my code and before executing let me show you that how to use this this operator to concatenate two lists. You can find that we are doing the concatenation of these two lists and we have done we are just putting it onto the fruit tree and then fruit tree is getting printed. 
so if I execute my code you can get the output that how the outputs are coming so at first we'll be printing the fruit one dot head then fruit one dot tail so here you see we are having this head part so that is a uh, apples and this is a tail part that is we are having this oranges and pears so we are having this then you are checking whether this fruit one is empty or not the outcome is false when you are checking this nums is empty or not the outcome is true whenever you are doing this concatenation you can find that these apples oranges and pears they are coming from this fruit one and then fruit two is containing mangoes and banana so they have got concatenated so that is the concatenation operator we are getting which will be operating in between two lists so the second list will be the will be coming at the end and the first list will be which will be mentioned will be coming at the beginning of the concatenated list so here is the code in front of us this is the respective output I think now things are getting clear to you that how to use list and what are the basic methods what are the three different methods uh, which will be operating on the list they are nothing but head tail and is empty thanks for watching this video